how to set up shipping on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be doing a quick look at how you can get started with setting up the shipping and taxes on your Shopify store. So if you want to get started with Shopify for free, check out the link in the description box down below to get started. You can avail Shopify's premium plans for free without having to input any credit card info. Plus, after your trial expires, Shopify will let you use your plan for only one dollar a month for the next three months so make sure that you check out the link in the description box down below and let's get started so shopify is one of the largest e-commerce platforms out there to build a shopify store is very easy and simple however certain things like setting up your shipping or payments can be a little confusing so we're gonna break it down step by step now once you have created your shopify store simply log on to your shopify store like I have over here. Now, in your Shopify store, first off, to set up shipping is before you actually launch your website. And you want to make sure that if your website is public already, you actually make it password protected so you can go into your settings and make sure that your website is currently password protected. And if your store is online, so if you've already made it public, you want to make it private again because without your shipping properly set up, you might, you know, have some issues with order fulfillment that can lead to bad reviews on your website. This was the issue that I had when I was building my own Shopify store. I didn't realize that my Shopify store was already public and I was still setting it up and it was just really confusing to move on from that. Now let's get into actually setting up our shipping on Shopify. So the first thing you want to do is click on settings on the bottom left. Now once you click on settings you want to actually go directly into your shipping and delivery section. Now there are some things you need to keep in mind whenever you are setting up shipping. You have domestic shipping, which is shipping within your country, and then you have international shipping. The shipping rates, shipping fees, and fulfillment times will be different for both of these. Obviously, if you're shipping a product very far away, you're not going to be able to provide the same kind of speed as if a product is going to be ordered locally. So you need to keep that in mind whenever you are setting up your shipping. Now, there are a few different options that you have. First off, you have your general shipping rates where you can create your own general shipping rate. So you can click on manage over here and this will show you the products that you're shipping. Obviously, if you're selling something like clothing or apparel, you don't really need to charge different rates for certain products. However, if you're selling something that is more heavy like furniture items or larger items where you're going to charge according to the size or weight of the product, you want to make sure that you're setting up different rates. So for that, just go into your shipping settings and then that will allow you to scroll down and you will have multiple different packages that you can add that are going to offer different rates of shipping. So let's get into setting up shipping for our store. Now another thing that goes hand in hand with your shipping is taxes and duties. Now if you want to charge taxes you know obviously depending on where you are located the taxes are going to be different and you can make sure that you are managing your sales tax directly on Shopify as well. Now going back to shipping and delivery, let's get started with our general shipping zones. So I will just click on manage over here. Now below that it will show you your shipping zones. Now first off you're going to select your country which is going to be domestic. So the United States is our domestic standard shipping. Now first off you have your condition 50 and up. We're offering free delivery. If I want to remove this I can uh, remove this from over here. Now I have multiple different shipping prices for the conditions. Now these conditions are weight based conditions but I don't want to charge on the basis of weight. I want to have like a standard Standard shipping fee for all of my products that's usually what you're going to find in most clothing stores so we're just going to remove all the pre-existing shipping rate and now I will click on add rate over here and you can use a carrier or app to calculate your shipping rates obviously you're going to get discounted rates with Shopify shipping if you are using the premium or Shopify plan on Shopify if you're using the basic plan on Shopify then you're not gonna get access to these discounts so for that reason make sure that you use the link in the description box down below to get these usps or ups discounted rates for shopify 
by shipping and you will get access to the premium plans on Shopify for free. But let's set up our own rates for now. So this is going to be this is going to be our flat shipping fee and this is going to be maybe ten dollars that's maybe what i charge for all domestic shipping or maybe fifteen dollars yeah after that i can click on add condition and you can see it says no condition if i want i can add a condition to this so i can click on edit rate and i can click on add condition based on item weight or based on order price i can choose a minimum order price let's say i offer fifteen dollars like i offer a shipping discount you can build your shipping discounts like this as well so if an order is above a hundred dollars maybe the flat fee is going to be reduced to ten dollars so you can create discounts like that but i don't recommend it instead you should go into the discount section and make a uh, coupon based discounts but you can also do it on based on the item weight now you can add your item weight within the product categories so within your product field you have the weight option and you can add the weight of your product and shopify will automatically be able to see what kind of shipping rate is going to apply to what customers order depending on what items they have added and what weights did you add for those items so i'm just gonna keep it as it is this is the flat shipping rate and then you have your international market so let's say i'm gonna create my own international shipping rate as well now you have multiple different markets let's say if i'm located in the united states then i might not charge that high of a shipping rate to canada but i'll charge a very significantly higher rate to the united kingdom depending on the distance obviously it's going to cost me more so what i'm going to do is first off i'm going to delete all these previous regions and I will click on create zone and I will create this zone called one and in that have Canada the entirety of Canada you can obviously alter the shipping rates depending on the counties or states as well you can even do that for local shipping rates and then I'm going to add another region over here now I've added Canada I'm going to add another rate for Canada which is going to be for the flat rate for Canada and then this is going to be 30 Canadian dollars, which is around 22 US dollars. And I'm just going to click on done over here. Now I can click on add rate and I can create separate rates even within the Canadian shipping rates. Now in this way, I can add rates for any country that I want in my Shopify store. Now scrolling down, you will see you can add a different region that is not covered in your shipping zones. So to do that, you can click on go to markets and you can manage where you want your Shopify store to be available to. So simply by heading on over to the markets, you're gonna click on add market, and then you can add the country of your choice. So you can click on add countries and region. So let's say I want to start worldwide shipping and I want to include Africa, and I also want to include the entire continent, or let's say I wanna start shipping in North America, I want to start shipping in Oceania, basically Australia, Fiji, all those islands. And I've added all of these countries as potential markets so people from here can order as well. And I can just click on save. So I'm just going to name this market Africa. And you can obviously categorize these uh, depending on the market rates that you want to, that you're going to get from your shipping supplier or from your shipping provider. So whatever shipping provider that you are using, you can go on ahead and ask them you know what they are going to charge for different countries and you can cluster the countries together and add them accordingly so uh, if a shipping provider is providing me with a $40 charge for shipping to the African countries and maybe $80 to shipping to Australia so I can cluster those in two different categories just so it's easier for me to keep track. Now going back to our shipping and delivery you want to go back over here and I'll show you guys an example. So let's say I'm going to create a new cluster just so I can show you guys going back into the market section. I'm going to click on add market. I'm going to click on add countries and region and let's say my shipping supplier said that to ship to Greece, Germany, and Greenland, it's going to cost me $50. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to name this cluster one, save. And then I can say, and if my shipping supplier said that uh, maybe shipping to Botswana, Benin, and Angola, it's going to cost me $100. So I can name that cluster B. Now going into my shipping and delivery, I can scroll down and I have my general shipping rates. Then I will have my international shipping rates as well. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go on ahead and click on uh, my shipping zones. I will manage my shipping zones. I'm going to scroll down and then click on 
add rate and you can set up your own rates over here you're going to enter your rate name and we're going to enter our new market so first off we have our international we have our domestic and even in international we have cluster one so i'm going to select cluster one from over here and then in cluster one i am going to add my own uh, shipping rate so i can click on over here two rates like this, Germany has two rates with DHL and USPS. Obviously, you can add more, but you can click on manage and shipping to open up the shipping section and create your different shipping rates for the international provider you have. This is obviously depending on the Shopify pricing discounts that I'm getting, but you can add your own customized shipping rates as well well so this is how you can break down your shipping rates and your shipping information on shopify now i want you guys to make sure that you are using the link in the description box down below so make sure to check that out because if you take a look at shopify's pricing it can be really expensive when you're getting started however with the link in the description box down below you can take a look at the advanced features and use all of the advanced features to create your shopify store all for free so check that out i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video